Namaste. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Chair Yoga in the Jungle Shala. I'm fortunate enough to be here in Sri Lanka, enjoying the Echo Lodge uh, and Yoga Retreat Center here in Ella. It's a fantastic, beautiful place, and well, it's a nice place to do yoga, meditate, and just be surrounded by nature, literally. So. Enough about the location, let's go sit down. What we're gonna focus on today is a bit of digestive, eyes, and anti-arthritis. So yes, that's right. I would call this an anti-aging yoga session. Comes from the series called Pawan Muktasana in Sanskrit. And there's a lot more techniques you can find me, find on my other videos, a little bit longer, covering everything. But uh, this is just a condensed, short version. So first, just reaching up, sun salutation, crossing the wrists, inhale, exhale, then down to a T, again, inhale, coming up, and exhale, coming down. Now just for the shoulders, put our fingertips on, on the shoulders here, making little circles. Forward circles, add the breath, close your eyes. On the inhale, you're coming up the circle. On the exhale, down. So inhale up, slow it down. Exhale down. A few times here. Very good. And now backwards, going the other direction. Circles backwards. Again, add the breath, close the eyes. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Okay, now let's do a little bit more for salutations. This one, we're going to put our hands behind our back, lace our fingers, and just gently, gently, gently come forward. So wherever you can, lifting your hands a little bit off the back, Neck relaxed. As you're coming forward, you should be exhaling, compressing the abdomen. And let's just keep breathing here for a few inhalations and exhalations. Deep yogic breathing through the nose. And if you feel like you can go a little higher, raise your hands a little further. But don't strain, don't force. And if you even have to, you can just keep them there on your lower back. That was for the shoulders. Now we'll do one for the lower back. So now just keeping your hands on your back, grabbing one wrist with the other hand, and again, leaning forward, exhale, coming down. And now you'll feel the weight of your hands and your wrists on the lower back there. That might release a little bit of stiffness, tension that you could have there. Inhale, coming up, and now just switch wrists one more time. Let's get that lower back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, falling forward. Inhale, coming up. And now, for last one of this series, or variations we're gonna do, this is for the digestive system, so just make two fists, gentle fists, put them here on your abdomen, not on your ribs, and again leaning forward, exhaling, but gently, just giving pressure there to your, your fists, this activates the digestive organs, and is a good posture to hold here for a couple breaths, to keep breathing, feel that compression there. And now coming back up, inhale, and one last time, keeping the fists in the same place. Make sure you're comfortable. Exhaling, coming forward. And just go to wherever you're comfortable. And now coming back. Excellent. So we've done a little bit for digestive, we've done a little bit for shoulders, even lower back. 
Now let's work on this hands and the wrist. So, hands straight out. And so change orientation a little bit for the camera. And so raising up the fingers, inhale, going down, exhale. Fingers are together, you don't want to force the strain. Just do this a couple times. Inhale. And exhale. And again. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And release, coming down. Okay. And now another one for the wrist with a salutation. So coming up. Inhale. Lace the fingers together, looking up at the ceiling. Turn those palms upwards. This works for the wrists, also works for lengthening of the torso, shoulders. And now on the exhale, we're just gonna fall over to the left, just gently a little bit. And you'll feel some maybe release or some activation on the right hand side. If you're leaving to your left, that's fine. And just looking forward, straight ahead, or with the eyes closed. Now coming back to center, inhale, reach up again. And now off to the side, exhale, looking forward. Again, letting that torso release. And back to center, inhale. And exhale, lowering down. Don't let those fingers go yet. We're going to stop here halfway. And just push your shoulders gently forward. Feel that opening on the backs of your forearms. Yeah? Right there, and in the wrist. This is a nice one, so just hold here for a couple breaths. Relax, also moves the fingers a little bit. And now, gently unlacing the fingers, hands back on your knees, close your eyes, shoulders back, mountain pose. Nice, gentle breath here. And now our arms out to the side, and just moving those fingers a little bit like you're on a piano. Going back the other way. Let's get the circulation back there. Very good. Okay, now it's time for a twist. I'll give you a choice of two types of twists. You can either go down to the, to the floor, to your front of your chair, and just coming up like this. Or you can go down to the floor if you get there, and go down like this. So I'll be the first one with the chair, just here, and just gently, the arm could be bent, the one that's on the chair. Just what the movement is, just to have the shoulder twisting back a little bit, the arm direction of the ceiling, and looking over that left shoulder up towards your hand. And now release, exhale. Other side, inhale, coming up. Again, looking over shoulder, just twisting gently, and now exhale, coming back. And now let's, I'll do it one more time. You can continue how you are. I'm going to do this on the floor, so exhale, falling forward, and then inhale the arm up, looking up at the hand, hold here for a couple breaths. Calmly, tranquilly. Don't forget to smile. And coming back down. Change just hands. And inhale, twisting up the other side. Back to center, the two hands in the front. And inhale, coming up. Let's straight lengthen that spine again, reaching up all the way. Deep belly breath. Again, remember always to the nose. And now hands back to our side. So let's finish with the last twist here for today in this series. Just grab the arm of your chair or the bottom of your chair, whatever's more comfortable for you, on one side with both hands. Just give yourself a gentle little twist, looking over that shoulder behind you. And let's 
sold here from Merlin. Couple graphs. And now inhale, coming back to center. Again, capturing that side of the chair or the arm, that's okay too. Exhale, and just twist back. Wherever you're comfortable. No strain in the neck. This is for the lower back, a little bit for the shoulders. And there we go, coming back to center. Okay, so we've done a little bit of wrists, a little bit of hands. Now we need to get onto those hips and knees, huh? <laughs> so for the hips, one of my favorite ones, just put your foot on your right foot on top of your left knee, the ball of the ankle a little bit off to the side, holding onto those toes. Make a pointer with your finger. This is just a guide. You don't want to move the finger itself, but you move your thigh and your whole leg so that that finger makes a circle. And so just make a gentle circle here. If you want to, you can close your eyes and synchronize with breath. Go a little slower, but this is perfect because it just gets right in that spot on the hips. So inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Again, inhale up. And exhale down. And now let's go back the other way. Inhale up. Exhale down. So inhale. And exhale. On your own count. A few more times. And now release. Putting this leg now back on the floor and just changing legs. So. Work now the other hip, just again capturing the toes of your hand, ball the foot just off the side of the knee flexor, finger pointing parallel with the thigh, and your first few just make sure you're getting that circle there. And now if you want, close your eyes, add the breath, slow it down, inhale, one steady movement, no stopping, go around the circle in one fluid motion, as slow as you like. Just in base of the breath. The inhale and the exhale. And now going back the other way, coming up, inhale, and exhale. Keep going. There we go. Okay, great. Now let's do something for those knees, some leg extensions. Again, I'll change the chair just for the purpose of camera here. So holding beneath your right leg, just straighten that leg out. Hold it there for a moment. Flex that kneecap if you can and release. Now let's add the breath. So a inhale coming up and exhale coming down. Inhale coming up. Flex that knee. Hold it there for a moment. Hold your breath if you can, and then exhale down. Again, two more times. Inhale up, foot, foot should be flexed, so you're getting some extension there on the calf. And exhale down, last one. Coming up, inhale, and exhale. Okay, other side, coming forward, inhale, and exhale. Again, up. Hold there for a second. Flex that knee flexor. Coming down. Don't forget the breath. Coming up again. Inhale. Release gently. Last one. Let's try and hold it there a little longer. Up. Inhale. Flex that knee. Flex those quads. And exhale. Release. Okay, great. So we've done hips, we've done knee, we've done a little bit of everything. Let's not forget those ankles, shall we? <laughs> so, leg back on top of the knee like it was before, and just some gentle ankle cranks. Sounds worse than it is. Shouldn't be anything cranking or creaking. But just do your best. Ball the foot off to the side again. Grabbing the tops of the toes and just make little circles going forward. Just ever so gently. Slow, don't grab your 
foot too hard. And now going back the other way. There we go. Maybe close your eyes. Feel those tendons moving. Everything happening there. Okay. And now let's change sides. So again, ball the foot on top, hand on the opposite knee or the same knee. And circles going forward. Close your eyes, feel those tendons and everything else moving in there. The socket of the ankle. And now coming back, going the other way. Little circles backwards. Keep a good posture. No sagging in the shoulders. That way you keep a better breath, calm breath. And there we go. Fantastic. Now, let's do something, shall we, for the eyes. And this will be our last sequence. It's actually for the eyes and also for the shoulder. It's two for one. <laughs> That's why I like this particular technique. So, you have your fingers out in front of you, and you just don't bring them back here to your shoulder, but this is the eye part. You're going to focus on the fingertips the whole time. So when they're out there, you keep tracking them with your range of vision, even when it's going back onto your shoulder without moving the head. No head movement, just the eyeball. This helps reset and strengthen the eyeball muscles. There's eight techniques. You can find them in one of my other videos. But these are really fantastic and can reduce the need for reading glasses. So look and watch, <laughs> literally. Fingers making a tip. This is the exhale going out. Inhale coming in. Watch those fingertips. Again, don't move the head. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. And exhale out. Okay, fantastic. Now let's try the other side. Fingertips on the shoulder. Exhale out. And inhale in. Exhale out. And inhale. Another time. Again, tracking those fingers with the eyeballs. No head movement. Exhale. Way back. Inhale. One more time. Last time. Exhale. And coming back. Inhale. There we go. Well, perfect. That was a uh, rather compressed <laughs> and quick sequence of a little bit of everything. That's possible with yoga, even from a chair. Uh, thank you for joining. Please subscribe, follow me, and any comments, good, bad, or otherwise, always welcome. Namaste.